Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam, and welcome to my review for Gretel and Hansel. This was directed by Osgood Parker, and it stars Alice Krieg and Sophia Lillis, and it is based on the grim fairy tale Hansel and Gretel. It tells a story of two kids named, well, Hansel and Gretel, who are kicked out of their home and are lost in the woods. Oh gee, what could possibly go wrong? Well, they run into a witch who wants to eat them. You know that small thing. There have been precisely two horror movies to come out in 2020. One of them was The Grudge, which everyone seems to hate but me, and The Turning, which was absolutely terrible. So, by a significant margin, Gretel and Hansel already had a leg up on both of them just by looking unique. And I can safely say that the uniqueness of this adaptation does serve the movie well, because I really did enjoy Gretel and Hansel minus some weird moments, which we'll get into in a second. The best parts of the movie were Alice Krieg and Sophia Lillis. Alice Krieg, I was like, wait, where have I seen your face before? And then I looked it up on IMDb, and my mind was blown because, oh my god, she is the Borg Queen from Star Trek First Contact. No wonder she was able to get the kids to come into her creepy home. She said resistance is futile, and well, there you go. And similar to Alice Creek, Sophia Lillis, I was like, where have I seen you before? I know I've seen you somewhere before. And then I looked it up, and again, I was like, holy crap, she's Beverly from the most recent It. Not It Chapter 2, but It Chapter 1. Some of the best scenes in the movie were when the two were just sitting there talking. Like, there was a lot of mental chess going back and forth, and it was really fun to watch. And there were certain shots in the movie that I absolutely loved. A lot of it seemed a little pretentious, but at the same time, there were also, everything was also shot really well. Everything was in frame, there was a lot of just beautiful visual storytelling. Also, one final tip of the cap to the costume design, because the costume design is surprisingly good as well, especially when you see the witch. How they portray the witch in this movie is absolutely terrifying, just with a dark-brimmed hat, dark robe, long-ass fingernails, and you don't even see the witch's face, you just, because she wears this big, thick, black mask, and you can't see her, so she just, you know, all, and all she does is move with her hands. It's terrifying. The director took a lot of chances, especially when it comes to the visuals, and a lot of them paid off. Well, some of them did not. There were more than a few awkward scenes in this movie. Probably the most awkward was when Gretel and Hansel are just at their most hungry, like they would eat anything, and they come across these magic mushrooms. I'm going to let you put the pieces together. Let's just say I thought I started hearing Casey Jones off in the background. Plus there were some weird music choices, like for example, there were some scares in the movie that involved synthesizer music. And I was sitting there like, you know, I remember the synth movement of the 1660s. The chamber pop movement could not be contained. It was just that weird sort of stuff that started to take me out of the movie at some point. Because when I was supposed to be scared, I was thinking to myself, why would you make that music choice? Or why would you make the night just this really dark blue instead of, you know, making it like the color of night. Irregardless of that, I did like the movie more than I dislike it. I am going to give it a good rating. I sit here knowing that this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea. And if you hate this movie, I wholeheartedly understand. This is not a movie for everybody. However, if you do open your mind and give it a chance, I think you will be surprised. That is all for me, guys. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Stay tuned for my video talking about my most anticipated for February 2020. This year's going by way too fast already. But um, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the movie down below, and be sure to subscribe and click the bell to allow notifications. My name is Ryan Cam. And I'll see you in the next one.